Hello, discerning Nerf fans. That doesn't look much like the thumbnail, does it? Anyway, I thought I'd let you know, with a little update here, what I've been busy with for a couple of days. And that's this. Let's see if the camera can get a good look at the difference between my two forearms. Whether you can see it or not, my uh, right forearm is uh, scalded all the way up here and here. And the reason for that is that my truck overheated, and uh, this component over here, some of you may be familiar with, it should never be under pressure, but somehow it was. Um, and when I tried to open it, I'm guessing my hand was something like this, uh, sprayed up like so, got a little bit on my shirt. Uh, fortunately, I had a uh, two-liter bottle refilled with water in my other hand, and I just pretty much uh, bathed myself in it right after that. Um, I was on my way back from the uh, Nobacon Nerf War, so it, it kind of is Nerf relevant, um, and I was, uh, in fact, not very far from the Danville Police Station, where I stopped in a few minutes later and got a little first aid assistance. They gave me some burn gel. My thanks again to the folks at the front desk of the Danville Police Department for two packets of this gel and the use of their restroom. Um, and I've been putting aloe on it um, for two days now. Another view here. See if you can see. And uh, it's a little oversensitive. Every tiny little scratch uh, has a risk of uh, becoming something worse. This part's almost, almost better. But uh, another day, I think I'll be fine. Just continue to uh, keep it moisturized. But uh, it says right on the radiator cap, of course this is a replacement, but the other one said it too, uh, do not open hot. And uh, they really mean that. And I didn't. But uh, over here on this thing, uh, do not open while there's still steam anywhere. If you, uh, there's a little vent hole, a little tiny vent hole that apparently wasn't enough, right here, and then that is attached, or is connected rather, through this donut-shaped ring to a vent hole on the opposite side. So the steam's supposed to be able to get out, but uh, I think that I was a little too rushed to notice there was probably steam coming out of it right then. At any rate, I'm not sure why I overheated. I think the uh, thermostat in the upper radiator hose got stuck and uh, I've pulled that out and examined it, and it does look sticky, and I'm not putting it back. I have bought a replacement and an extra gasket, but I have put everything back together without a thermostat. See if I can, uh, you can't really see the thermostat housing. It's, uh, it's right down in here, but uh, the way a lot of these uh, vehicles, this is a 30-year-old Mazda, uh, and the way a lot of them are built, the thermostat is a separate part that goes in between two metal parts uh, and therefore for it to actually be there is not entirely necessary. Uh, my temperature gauge now uh, shows my engine as being cold um, for any short trip and it's going to stay cold because the thermostat is a device meant to help your engine warm up. Here in California summers, I don't really need that and yeah. So, I've been dealing with an injury. It uh, occupies my time for a few minutes out of every hour. And I uh, have a sleeve to sleep in, because otherwise, basically anything that touches this is pretty painful. Uh, yeah, something to, uh, I hope somebody can learn from my, well, I don't know if it was a mistake, but from my experience, I guess it was kind of a mistake. But uh, even when they say, that this is where you should add water, and it certainly is where you should add water. Um, when there's uh, overheating going on, you don't want to be opening anything, uh, and it's still not clear why my pickup overheated a couple of times. Did two weeks ago, and then again uh, two days ago. So I had already had a few precautions in mind, but didn't take enough of them. Uh, didn't realize I needed extras. So that's what I'm recommending. Most of you probably never even have an overheating internal combustion engine. Uh, a few more years 
maybe none of us will bother with these things. I would love to move to an electric, but economically I can't do that just yet. That's why I drive a 30-year-old Mazda. So, back to nerf thrifting for my next video, I hope. And uh, remember to take those cruddy old batteries out.